Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Jumbo. Today, in this video, we're gonna cover five of them that you didn't know. And soon, because of this video, you will know. Number one, some of the deals are made before the show airs. Cameramen don't just sit around waiting for cool artifacts to be brought into the gold and silver pawn shop. The filming days are fully planned out to showcase the very best that the pawn shop has to offer. That means, if somebody brings in something cool on a non-filming day, they might be asked to bring it back later so it can be featured on the show. Sometimes, Rick and his crew communicate with potential sellers via email before filming to ensure that the coolest artifacts arrive at the shop when the film crew is on set. This allows them to get the best and most creative footage and also allows the History Channel to see some really cool items. Number 2. The experts on the show aren't actually Rick's friends. On the show, whenever Rick isn't sure about the validity or price of an item, he calls in an expert to help him figure out what's what. Rick always tells the camera that he's calling in a good friend, but in reality, these experts are selected by producers. The experts aren't for appearing on the show or sharing their expertise, but they do get some exposure and publicity, which helps them promote their businesses. More than 30 experts have appeared on the show over the years material out there that generally it's not really worth it to fake these but my only concerns would be any kind of damaging pres fossils over the years and stuff like that so a lot of times some of these are replaced with these cave bear hands and feet there's so much original material. number three don't forget the show is still reality tv audiences fell in love with pawn stars as soon as the first episode aired in its first year, it was the second most popular reality show on TV. Jersey Shore was the first. An episode of Pawn Stars that aired in July 2011 was watched by over 7 million viewers. The show became so popular because everyone on it seemed so relatable. But that doesn't mean it's not a reality TV show. Pawn Stars isn't all it seemed to be. Number 4. Rick never gave up on his idea. Rick Harrison knew that he could create a successful TV show based on the inner workings of his family's pawn shop, but it took him a while to convince the networks that it was a good idea. I figured that a show would mean free publicity, and free publicity would mean more business, he told Star Telegram. But everyone told me that no one wants to watch a show about four fat guys in a pawn shop. The Gold and Silver Pawn Shop made its television debut in a 2001 PBS documentary. It was also featured in Comedy Central's Insomniac in 2003. HBO worked with Rick for a while, but ultimately, Pawn Stars found a home on the History Channel. Number 5. It All Started in Sin City Richard Harrison, aka Old Man, his son Rick, Rick's son Corey, and Corey's friend Chumley had been working at the world-famous Gold and Silver Pawn Shop long before Pawn Stars premiered. Old Man opened the store in 1989 and ran it as a 24-hour family business. It was Rick who had the idea to turn the daily workings of the store into a TV show. He pitched the idea to several networks in the early 2000s until eventually, the History Channel picked up the show. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. We hope you enjoyed, and you should like the video if you did, or if you learned something new. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and we'll see you next time for more secrets on your favorite TV shows.